How could a mob successfully attack the United States Capitol in the first place? What explains such a security failure? David Martin is on the case. An angry mob running roughshod and unchecked through the Capitol and onto the floor of the United States Senate. A scene as once unthinkable as airplanes crashing into buildings. They could have blown the building up. They could have killed us all. They could have destroyed the government. We dodged a major bullet yesterday. The barriers erected and manned by the Capitol Police were little more than speed bumps to the angry mob. They had these pathetic little barricades up beforehand, and what they should have done is had much more robust capabilities well in advance of the 6th of January. Michael Chertoff, head of Homeland Security during the George W. Bush administration, says the Capitol Police bear primary responsibility. This strikes me as having been a real dereliction by the Capitol Police. But simple dereliction doesn't explain this statement by D.C. Police Chief Robert Conti. There was no uh, intelligence that suggested there would be a breach of the U.S. Capitol. In fact, social media was full of storm the Capitol rhetoric including a tweet from President Trump predicting it will be wild. The hoaxes and the lies. And then there was the rally outside the White House where the president and his ally Rudy Giuliani riled up the crowd. Let's have trial by combat. If you read the newspaper, you knew that there was a serious possibility of a threat against the Capitol. Let's go wild. Bring your guns. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that that suggests a serious threat to the integrity of the Capitol. This was not a failure to connect the dots, but a failure to believe the dots. Whether they underestimated the threat or believed because they were Trump supporters, they weren't gonna be a problem, that was a very serious error and can never be allowed to be repeated. Was this cultural bias? If it's Black Lives Matter, there's a real threat of violence here, but if it's just almost all white Trump supporters, no problem. Well, certainly that's a legitimate question to ask. They need to ask questions about whether there was conscious or unconscious bias, or even some you know, political spin uh, for some of the people in the Capitol Police. Democratic Congressman James Clyburn offered a more sinister explanation. Somebody on the inside of those buildings were uh, complicit in this. The need for answers is urgent. There are already social media calls for more attacks surrounding the inauguration. The president is vowing we will not be silenced. And one of his supporters warned, many of us will return on January 19th carrying our weapons. Buckle up. I'm afraid we're going to see um, some very scary activity over the next weeks and months.